Hey guys, today I want to do a video on the IATA Travel Pass. And this is something that's on trial with a lot of airlines right now. They're trying it out to see how it works out. It's a way to verify whether you've gotten swabbed or you've gotten the vaccine that you need needed and they, they can verify it for you. The good thing about this thing is it might make it easier to travel now. I'm not sure if I agree with this or I don't agree with it. I'm not taking sides on this or anything. I'm just telling you that at some point this is probably going to become the new normal for traveling, having this, this vaccine pass. You know, if other things pop up in the future or something like that, you're going to have to show that you either got swabbed or you took a vaccine or what have you, and that's the way it's going to be. Um, you can download this online already by going to, to the, the website. You can also go to the, your apps and stuff like that, and you can download it. You may want to check it out because, um, like I said, it's right now they're asking you for a six-digit number to put in there that the airlines will give you if you're traveling to a country. And Philippine Airlines is doing this, and a lot of the other airlines are doing it on trial. What they do is they give you six digits to open up that app, and then it, you, you go to the places where they tell you to go, and either you get swabbed within a certain amount of days before traveling, or you get your vaccine, or what have you, or you pop your vaccine, you take a picture of your certificate or whatever, and you upload that, and then they verify it and check it, and then they get back to you and tell you, okay, you're all set to travel now, okay? Now, there's a lot of hoops that you have to jump through lately for a lot of people that are traveling now. And it's almost kind of put a damper on traveling. It really has. And f like with us over here with the SRV visas, it's made it so that it's almost kind of impossible to travel because if we leave, we can't come back unless we write to the government and tell them that we want to come back in or whatever and the reason why we want to come back in. And they might not let you in even though you're a resident of, of the Philippines. But a lot of other countries are doing the same thing, so it's not just the Philippines that are doing this, okay? And, and when you pay something, pay for something like a visa or something like that, it makes it very difficult. But this IATA passport thing is just making it more difficult for a lot of us. But it is going to be the new norm. And unfortunately, travel now is going to be a lot harder than it was already. You know. If you remember, right after 9-11, the clampdown began. Now it's even worse than it was before because we got all this going on. So it's like three times worse than what it was before because they're going to be checking all this stuff. The airlines are going to be put in charge of it, basically, and that's the way it's going to work. So I would imagine that the airlines are going to put that price in the tickets because they're using IATA as the people to sort out all that mess. So whatever it costs... For them to check this stuff and i'm sure a lot of it's done electronically or whatever probably not manually but it should it's probably going to cost us more in our ticket prices and we'll probably see that cost passed along to us i'm sure you know but anyway guys i want to tell you about this a little bit iata travel pass you can download it now i know a lot of you guys are talking about traveling here in the future you will probably most likely probably 80% to 90% chance need this in the future when you guys plan on traveling here. It's probably the travel pass that most airlines are gonna use, okay? Because most airlines are members of the IATA, according to what an article what an article I read said, okay? So look up the IATA, you can read about them, you can you know go to their website, you can read about the travel pass, Download the web, you know, download the travel pass onto your phone for you guys that are planning on traveling. You will need need that travel pass at some point. The other thing is, guys, it's not totally open right now. It's supposed to open sometime this month or next month, and it's been slow to open. It's going to open up to everybody, so you'll be able to see the whole site, okay? And you'll get to open that up and, you know, see what's on there and, and get to learn the, the site a little bit better. Right now, it's asking you for those six digits, from the airlines and those six digits are the only digits that will open up that that travel pass to work okay so it's not even available to you now but the app is available okay the app is available but it's not available to use till you get the six digits to travel now we can't try you can't travel from the United States to the Philippines right now anyway only certain people can come come in and you have to, like I said you do have to jump through a ton of hoops to get over here and it's really not worth it to do it as a tourist, it's, it's, it's impossible. It's, it's just impossible. 
you know, it's almost impossible. So I would just, you know, wait it out. When things start opening up, you will need this pass. At least you'll have it on your phone already. You can, you can start getting ready, you know, call up the airlines, talk to them, go on this travel pass, see how, when you need to do things, how you need to do things. And that'll kind of walk you through all this stuff that you need to do. So this is just one way to get you guys prepped. I want to get you guys prepped. Get it on your phone, guys. Get this travel pass on your phone. I'm telling you, I'm like 80% sure that this is going to be the travel pass you probably need in the future. Because it seems to be everyone is, is, is trying this out now. They're seeing how it works, and they're going to adopt it. Many airlines have already adopted it. If you, if you go to their website, you can see all those airlines that have adopted it already. Granted, it's on trial. I'm sure it's going to be the, the next piece of the puzzle. And maybe, maybe at some point when all this stuff starts calming down, if it does calm down, that this kind of will go away. And we can all hope that that's what, what happens. You know, but just to stay positive, guys. It's all we can do. You know, it's, it really is. It's all we can do. But I did want to pass this information along to you. I saw it the other day. And, you know, this morning I was sitting and I said, you know, I, I want to put out some really good information out there for these guys, something that would help them. And then I was thinking about that, the IATA travel pass. I had already put it on my phone and I hadn't done a video on it yet. And I says, you know what, I'm going to put it out there for these guys. I'm going to let them know about this. At least it's, it's a little bit more hope and you know, I want to give you guys some hope that, you, you know, you're going to be coming over here soon, but it's not going to be soon, guys. It's probably going to be a year. Let's, let's be realistic. You know, maybe at the end of the year, if we're lucky, you know, maybe they'll open things up to people with this travel pass. And that's a possibility. I think Philippine Airlines might talk to the government and say, hey, listen, we need to open up. You know, we, we got this travel pass implemented. That might be a help, guys. It might be a help. So there is a ray of hope in this, too. But... The way the government is right now, they don't really want to let a lot of people in, but the U.S. is opening up. So I think with the U.S. being safe and most people being immunized over there, I think what's going to happen is they're going to say, okay, we'll open up to the U.S. they got to have the travel pass. We'll start letting them in on tourist visas or, or, or what have you, okay? And I'm not sure whether it's just going to be vaccinated people or people that have been swabbed. So I, I would think that the, the vaccinated people probably have more of the upper hand of coming over here as of right now. But we don't know how this is going to work out. I, I think they might even let swab people in, you know. But with the amount of people over here that are getting COVID right now over here, I mean, we're not like India or anything like that. We're not to that point. But, I mean, supposedly it's taken off over here. So, like, we're all in quarantine sitting, for this to, sitting and waiting for this thing to get over. So that's part of the, the issue. But anyway, it is kind of a ray, a ray of sunshine. It is a ray of hope, you know. I don't want to give anybody any false hopes, you know, but it is something to show that people are working on trying to get people traveling again. You know, otherwise they wouldn't be doing this. So there is that ray of, of hope right there because I think Philippine Airlines, I think the airlines are taking a hit, and I think the, the government's starting to realize, you know, we have to do something. we got to open up to some people. So... Either it'll be the vaccine people, or maybe it'll be the, both with the swabbed, and you have to have that pass. We'll see, guys, though. Let's hope. Hope and pray that this happens, because I'm, I'm, I myself am getting tired of it, you know, and I'd like to see you guys coming in over here and, and start living your lives. But if we're going to have quarantines over here and stuff like that, guys, then it's really not worth it for you to come over right now. I, I'm going to be dead serious. If they opened up right now and told people, hey, all right, you can come over here, but you're going to have to live without quarantines, I would highly recommend that you don't come until the quarantine stuff is over. Even if it's a year or if it's a year and a half or whatever it's going to be, wait it out because you're going to be bored to death over here. I mean, there's days over here, the days just drag because we really can't do anything without our mask and without our face shield, guys. But anyway, guys, remember, IATA Travel Pass, it's, in your, it's probably on your apps already. It's, it was on my apps on my Apple phone so it should be in, on the android phones and any other phones that are out there guys you know god bless take care guys and be sure to like and subscribe thanks guys god bless